Hello, first year students. Welcome to English Classroom. I am S. Rikant, Assistant Professor of English. So, today we will take up a topic from first year, first semester syllabus. It's a very, very beautiful poem by a very famous Indian origin poet, a woman poet. Guess who is it? Saroji Noiru's poem. The name of the poem is Bangil Cells. Right, let's get started. It is a little bit of introduction about the poet Saroji Noiru. So, as you all know, she is a great freedom fighter, a close associate of Gandhiji during freedom struggle, a political and social activist who worked for, worked for emancipation of women. She strived for women education and values in the society. And she wrote great poetry and she won laurels from Gandhiji who called her the Nightingale of India. That means who sings so melodi melodiously for India through her poetry. So she was born on 13th February 1879 in Hyderabad and died on 2nd March 1949 in Lucknow. So after independent, after two years after independence, she passed away. So as I already mentioned, her nickname is Nightingale of India. So this is the picture of the great Sarojin Naidu, the greatest, one of the greatest daughters of India has ever produced a political leader, social activist, great orator, poet, and what not, all rolled into one. She is the representator, representative of women power. So all the girls and women of India can excel her life and follow her life. And little bit, little more about her herself. She was born into a Bengali family and studied in London and Cambridge. So she was from a Bengali family actually. Her parents are well educated and well to do family. She studied at Girton College, Cambridge, where she met great poets and she polished her, polished her tools of poetry. And she there she got the idea that she should write about the Indian culture. She must glorify something which belongs to India in her poetry. So her poetry represents Indian culture, especially rural India, where ordinary folks are involved in different crafts and professionals. So though her poetry was very, very okay, profound, but her themes, the items which she selects are from ordinary people who are involved in different crafts, like basket makers, palanquin bearers, who are involved in different their family oriented professions and uh, two important aspects of her poetry are okay what are just a minute I'll... two important aspects of her poetry are music and symmetry the one hallmark is they are extremely musical, they are lyrical. You can sing the poems like songs and extremely symmetrical, the rhyme scheme, okay. The one is exactly similar to structure wise, the other one stanza is similar to other stanza. One line is similar to other line. This is the symmetry, one is equal to one side is totally equal to the other. Right, man is symmetrical, so her poems are very symmetrical. <laughs> so, in her poetry, what does she do? She celebrates the life in rich colors. All her poetry, musical and colorful, and she celebrates life. And she served as the first woman president of Indian National Congress and also the first woman governor for a state in independent India. She adorns so many great positions. She is the first woman president of Congress party in India in 1925 or something. And she also worked as one of the women governors, first women governors 
or an independent uh, Indian state. The present poem is taken from The Bad of Time, a volume of poetry. From 1905 to 1912, she wrote three or four volumes of poetry like uh, The Bird Suffering. And this poem, particular poem, is taken from The Bird of Time. And some of our poems you might have studied during your uh, earlier courses, like Indian Weavers. Okay, this poem is taken from one of the simplest of professions, that is weaving profession. And Gift of India, which glorifies Indian culture. Royal Tombs of Golconda, because she settled down at Hyderabad. She wrote a great poem about our Hyderabad culture, Golconda, and stake chalmers, coromandel fishers, palanquin bearers to India. There's a poem called To India, an atom song, song and atom season, life. These are some of the very, very interesting and very, very great poems of Sarojini Noid. So, in all her poems, she whether celebrates farming community, weaving community, fishing community. We and other communities which are taken from our rural backdrop of India. So before going to the poem, I would like to show the picture of different colored bangles here. Yes, here these are maroon colored, okay, uh, deep blue color, bright red color, yellow color, okay, light green color, and um, this is little bit of a purple color. Right, there are no bangles here shown gray colored, but gray color is also there. So these are bangles, just to give you a picture of what are bangles. Right. Okay, before going to the poem, we'll just look at the theme of the poem. What is the subject she is speaking about in the poem? So the main theme is celebration of Indian womenhood in each stage of life. Celebrating women's life in India. Women's life is so intricate. It's very, very auspicious. There are so many stages. A woman lives as a girl, innocent girl. She grows to be a bride, a shy bride, innocent bride. And she gets married. And finally, she brings up her children. And she becomes an old woman. So, women's life is so complete. She takes up so many responsibilities so this life is celebrated in this poem through the help of uh, different colored bangles which are suited to that particular stage of her life from an innocent maiden to a passionate bride to a mature woman in her middle age is described with suitable color of bangles in the poem so different stages are described with different colors which suit that particular stage that is the theme and celebrating women's life right first stanza bangle sellers are who who bear our shine are we bangle sellers are we who bear our shining loads to the temple fair who will buy these delicate bright rainbow tinted circles of light lustrous tokens of radiant lives for happy daughters and happy wives so this poem consists of four stanzas of each six lines correct this is the first stanza in this the bangle sellers bring their loads of bangles which are differently colored and they shout out at the fair in front of a temple okay they call the people to buy their bangles they have differently multicolored bangles radiant and shining bangles and they are suitable for the radiant lives of happy daughters and happy wives they are suitable for girls and wives and mature women they are kind of advertising their bangles in a fair this they are giving a call they are shouting out to the people come buy our bangles we have all bangles with us this is the first stanza stanza two some are meat for a maiden's wrist, silver and blue as the mountain mist. Some are flushed like the birds, the dream. 
on the tranquil brow of a woman uh, woodland stream some are aglow with the bloom that cleaves to the limpid glory of newborn leaves the so first stage of human woman's life an innocent girl so they the bangle sellers have bangles which are suitable for innocent girls who are playful so what are the kind of bangles that a maiden wears so they are saying some are meats we have bangles which are meat which are suitable for young girls who are innocent and shy so the color of bangle which suits a girl or silver and blue right silver and blue color from light blue color bangles which you have seen just before in another slide they represent mountain mist and some are like flusher like birds that dream okay these uh, blue and silver color bangles can be compared to mountain mist the snow which falls on a mountain okay himalayan mountains silver color and some are like tranquil some are like sleeping very very peacefully okay uh, when a small stream flows through a woodland small forest okay there will be some of the birds will be clinging close to the leaves some of the birds some green birds will be clinging close to the they will be cleaving or hugging close to the transparent leaves newborn leaves which are green in color so like that she is comparing so two other um, techniques she, that she follows in this poem are simile and metaphor comparison with the help of simile simile means where you use words like as and like metaphor means you also compare but you don't use the words like as and like so sometimes she is, makes use of simile sometimes make use makes use of metaphors so she has sil they have bangle sellers have silver and blue color bangles which are suitable for young maids and girls which are silver and blue in color just like sleeping birds which are clinging to the young leaves in a small forest by the way by the side of a flowing stream let's move to the next stanza third stanza some are like fields of sunlit corn meet for a bride on her bridal morn some like the flame of her marriage fire or rich with the hue of her heart's desire tinkling luminous tender and clear like her bridal laughter and bridal tear another important stage of a woman's life is marriage so a, a bride before her marriage will be um, okay experience in bundle of emotions on the other, uh, on one hand she will be dreaming about her future life on the other hand there will be she will be she would be very sad that she would be leaving her mother's place so the bangle sellers say that they have very very suitable bangles even for that occasion okay what are the colors they that they have with them they have yellow colored bangles just like sunlit corn okay here is she is using simile which are meat which are suitable for a bride and bridal morn especially on the day of them her marriage they have bangles bright yellow colored bangles on the day of marriage and they also have some like flame of her marriage fire on the day of marriage fire ritual will be conducted in some of the traditional families the fire will be in red in color the red color bangles represent the passion of her heart the desires of her heart she will enter her in-laws home with billion dreams so the passion is represented by red color bangles okay rich with hue of her heart's desire hue means color so these two bangles represent her desires of the heart Twinkling, luminous, tender, and clear like her bridal laughter and bridal cheer. These bangles, yellow and red color bangles, will be tinkling, radiating, shining with tender, clear clarity and luminosity. So they represent both the emotions, both laughter and tear. Because marriage is an occasion where a woman undergoes two different opposite emotions. On the one way, on the other, she will be very delighted. 
on the other sides you will be very sad so suitable to this occasion to this occasion the bangle sellers have the suitable bangles for the occasion next stanza and the last stanza this is some are purple and gold flecked gray for she who has journeyed through life midway whose hands are cherished whose love has blessed and cradled fair sons of her faithful breast and serves her household in fruitful pride and worships the gods at her husband's side yes this is a very very mature phase of a woman's life she has grown up she has become very elderly she has gained all the experience and maturity and she has accomplished so many things she has taken up so many responsibilities on her shoulders in order to bring her children up and making them to be worthy citizens of the country so they have bangles suited for this occasion like purple bangles gold and gold flecked gray bangles okay purple is the color which represents we call sense of accomplishment because she has achieved so many things she has brought her children up yes and she has lived her life midway okay she is a woman elderly woman of about 50 years or around 50 years and whose hands are cherished whose love has blessed with her tender hands and caring hands she has brought of her children and she has given them life she she taught all the manners to her children so this purple color represents this responsibility and sense of ac accomplishment okay and cradled fair sons on her faithful breast the lot of responsibility she shaped their lives and serves her husband in fruitful pride and she also has the sense of pride because he achieved so many things so this sense of pride represents gray color and accomplishment and sense of pride and sense of maturity these emotions these two qualities of women's life at that particular stage of life are represented by purple and gray colored bangles and she worships worships the gods at her husband's side okay worshiping is another part of uh, an elderly woman she is the rightful companion to her husband so this is a different kind of life she will be entering into the later half of her life so like that the bangle sellers are bangles suited for different occasions so like this sarojin naidu a poet celebrates womanhood through the colorful multicolored bangles through the poem the bangle sellers right and here i have given you some meanings in order to understand better understand the poem lustrous luminous radiant these are different words used by the poet which means shine which are shine meet meet means not to meeting a person here meet m e a t meet meet is not more non vegetarian here meet means suitable token a symbol okay in a bride's life certain uh, what bangles yellow color or what bangles silver color bangles or blue color bangles are a token or token symbol of our innocence like that the poet has taken this word token is symbol tranquil means something which is calm and peaceful in a woodland in a small forest especially in spring season everything will be very tranquil tranquility cleaves which clung close to okay especially in a forest the young birds cling close to the young leaves just staying close limpid transparent you can actually see through transparent opposite of transparent is opaque you cannot see through hue is color right these are some of the important meanings from the poem i hope you have understood and uh, i hope you also like this poem like this video if you really like it don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon for further videos thank you for watching thank you all